Hey guys, I am super excited to introduce you to some of our family and see what they have to say about Penny and Lily and Betty. Some of you already know about Betty White. She is our newest addition. And yes, she did come with that name. And yes, we did keep it. But we do prefer to call her Betty Boo because I don't know, it just suits her. Okay, so before we get started, I do want to throw in a disclaimer. So what we do here is for entertainment purposes only and Penny has a unique human-like personality. And do not let her hear me say this. I just need a moment, okay? Can you please go in the other room for a minute? Mm -mm. I need you to go in the other room for a minute, okay? I just gotta finish and this I up. I don't wanna go. All right, ah! All right. love you. Bless okay, me. let's wait till she's in the other room. Okay, so do not let Penny know that I told you this, but don't let your kitties eat ham. It's very high in sodium and it's not suitable for them. Penny is and has been on a diet that's recommended by her vet and she has lost some weight over the past couple years, so go Penny. Oh, also, don't let your cat run to the store for butter by herself. She might get lost. Or work at a grocery store. Or order all the desserts on the menu at the restaurant. Because Penny's done all these things. But don't let your cats do these things. Penny is... She's one of a kind. I think she's part human, so... I think that humans can take her advice for themselves, but cats might not want to take Penny's advice. Okay, that was just way too serious for me. Let's move on. So I'm gonna go let the cats know that I interviewed their family. Did they spill the tea? We shall see. Okay, Penny. What's up, Mama Lama? Betty, Lily, where are you? Present and accounted for. But why? Will you guys watch something with me? What is it? I suppose. But I doubt it'll hold my attention. Okay, so I interviewed family members and asked them questions about you guys. Nah. -uh. So we're gonna watch it, okay? Oh, I guess maybe not Betty. And if you guys have a question or anything, I'll pause in between each question, okay? Who is it? You'll find out. I'm intrigued. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Hello. I'm the dad. Pause. Penny, not yet. Fine. Hi, I am the designated Poppy in the family. And I'm Mimi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Uncle Steven. And I'm Aunt Amanda. We're affectionately known as Yaya and Yobo. Yep. <laughs> I have oh a dog goodness. pile. I have a dog pile. That's oh. So, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I coordinated with the dogs today. Well, I'm Grandpa John. And I'm Grandma Judy. I like it, that's good. <laughs> okay, Penny, what did you want to say? If it's about us, why are the dogs there? Because they insist on being there and it makes them happy. Well, this is going to be quite amusing. I love those people. Me too. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite thing about Penny? I have to say it's her, her plumpness. Favorite thing about Penny would probably be her voice. She's just so round and adorable. Every time I come over here, she smiles at me. Well, she's basically perfect. Basically. I mean, what's not to, what's not to love about Penny? Uh, uh, what I can say is opposites attract. I loathe ham. She loves ham. She plays with me. She, she could she be a plus be. size model. She's confident. But also, you know, she, she gives to others and mm -hmm. really, no really. Yeah, that, I'd say so. Yeah, she's very giving. That she can talk. That's pretty awesome. And I actually scratch her behind the ear as she purrs. Sometimes she sits on me. What do you guys think about those answers? I like Yobo's answer. That you're basically perfect? Yep. I'm afraid he is mistaken. No, he's not. Nobody's perfect, Penny, but you're, you're, you're pretty close. Thanks. Next question is about Lily, so. Charming. What is your favorite thing about Lily? Her vocabulary. She learned it from me. Her fluffiness. I have to say it's that refined English accent. I love Lily. She uh, she gives me lots of love and affection. She sees me every time I'm here. Does he like that? I think so. He likes to see so sweet to me. You know, it's just so, she's so distinguished. We kind of see eye to eye because she gets to the top of her tree and then it's all love all the time. But she's still down to earth. She's very down to earth. She, I mean, she's, she's not too good to just poop in the same box with the rest of the cats. You know, I like that about her. Oh, that was nice. They didn't even mention my mad cricket skills. 
You play cricket? Do you even know me? Thought I did. Let's hear more about me. How do you feel about having famous cats in the family? Um, it was like almost unimportant at first. Nothing really happened. And then people got to know that I knew Penny. Well, I, I have to admit, I have dropped names a time or two when, you know, I felt like I wasn't getting the, you know, the respect or attention that I needed. Yeah, I uh, haven't really noticed, I guess. Sometimes I let people know, do you, Penny and, and my daughter, have you seen those videos? Uh, requests started coming in. Got I have more point. ham at home than I care to mention. Yeah. And like I said, I loathe ham. Especially like when you go to a restaurant. Right? You don't have a reservation. Yeah. Hey, we know, you know, Penny the Cat, you know, right? I mean, this, yeah, get free, free pizza and mm -hmm. stuff like that. True, true. Yeah. Many times. I just hope that all this fame that Penny has doesn't go to her head. Eventually you like that. Yes, you can. Oh. I work from home and so I'm a bit more isolated, but I can see how that would be difficult for you, especially having the public come in all the time and asking you, how's Penny, what's she doing today? Can you give her this ham? Yeah, can you give her this <laughs> ham? <laughs> I find it hard to live in the shadow of Penny. I mean, she's so famous that she gets the attention and I wonder, do people like me for me? Or do they like me because I could get them closer to Penny? Mm. I mean, I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> All right, any feedback, guys? Where's my free pizza? You eat free food every day. I pay for it. Or do I pay for everyone's food, if you think about it? Okay, you got me there. Okay, let's move on. What is your opinion on Betty White? I like to see so crazy. Betty toots too much. Betty White's such a lovely lap cat. Betty White? Um, didn't she just die? She's got some attitude. She gets on my lap. She just loves to be loved. I, I loved her in uh, Proposal. She's feisty when you pick, try to pick her up. She mouths and she toots on you. I'm surprised that, that you get to see that side of her. I, I don't, I, every time I see her, she's always trying to bite me. You have another cat? But I love her energy. I missed oh it, God. sorry. Another cat. Where is Betty? She's probably biting something. Probably. Well, I tell you what I think. How about Betty? She takes my attention, needs my food. I thought you were getting used to her. A little. Well, she'll keep growing on you, she's sweet. Okay, moving on. What is the most annoying thing about Penny? It's hard to pick up. Her farts. <laughs> I think she talks too much. But she talks. <laughs> Every time that they're filming her and it seems like she's about done talking, she goes <clears throat> For me, it's like her natural beauty. She just, she can just wake up and bam, she looks that good. She's got a little bit of a quid pro quo about her. She comes and sees me and she says, where's my ham? If I don't have ham, I don't get love. It takes me forever. It's just so annoying. She just gets up and she just, there she is. She goes on her way and she's beautiful. I got nothing. <laughs> wow. Excuse me? Roasted. I'm not annoying. Certainly not. You're not annoying, Penny. Everybody has something that gets on someone's nerves sometimes. I know you get annoyed with me, but you still love me, so. That's true. You are a bright light, Penny. Thanks. What is your favorite memory with Penny? For me, I think it's all the adventures we go on, rock climbing, the skydiving, the skiing. Scuba. Scuba diving. I mean, she's so adventurous. Um, our favorite memory with Penny is uh, Really, we got to, to see um, all of her siblings, and we were the first to pick a, out, of the, out of the group of siblings, and we brought her brother home, and we mm -hmm. called up her mom, uh, Amy, right away, and Amy came and got Penny, and we didn't know. We didn't get the, the talking cat. We got the cat that hasn't found his voice yet. Yeah. <laughs> she climbed on? When she was little, she used to climb on my arm and like, squeeze it and chew on my fingers. 
Kind of a funny memory with um, Penny was when we were up in the airplane and she started spitting up hairballs. For me, it's the, it's those movie times that we've had together, you know. Um, ah, yes. Just the, with the popcorn. Popcorn and the hand. Lap time. You know, Puss in Boots, Finding Nemo. Remember that time we tried to watch 101 Dalmatians? That was that, that didn't go very well. All Dogs Go to Heaven, that was, that was I a know, bust. That was but, rough. See, that was a better question. I have a blutter? I forgot I had a blutter. Really? How could you keep this from me? I've mentioned it. Can I visit him? Mm, yeah, but you hate car rides. FaceTime! Yes, we can plan a FaceTime. Yay! Okay, what's next? What is Lily's favorite food? Lily's favorite food is sushi. Mm, cat food. That's what I was gonna say. What do you think? Scones. Scones? Mm -hmm. Me and Lily, uh, we're fish and chips aficionados. Mm -hmm. uh, I always ask her, would you like some lightly fried fish fillets? <laughs> Purina one? I think it's some kind of pellet things. Never noticed. Okay. So what is your favorite food, Lily? Stargazy pie. I've never heard of it. Just Google it. I think I will. I love pie. Oh, wow, are those fish sticking out of a pie? Baby pilchards, also known as sardines. Oh, sorry. Just don't even speak of it. Your ignorance will blight the artistry that is my prized stargazy pie. What the heck are you talking about? Wow, that good vocabulary comment really went to your head. Sorry, I was just trying to learn. I'll order you some literature on it from the World Wide Web. Okay. What is Penny's favorite food? Ham. 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 I thought she was a vegetarian. So she does tofu? Tofu? Ham flavored tofu. I guess. Okay, so um, ham flavored tofu. I wonder what she does with all the ham I bring her. <laughs> what? Whoa, why are you so upset? Call Yaya yeah, yeah, right now. Please. Why? I need to talk to her. You really want me to call her? No, just text. Okay, well, what do you want me to say? De dear Yaya. Yeah, yeah. My favorite food is ham. I'm not a vegetarian. Love Penny. P.S. I still love you. Okay, send? Yes, please. Okay, send. All right, let's move on. Why do you think that people enjoy watching Penny? Because he is so talky. He's got good energy. I think most people enjoy watching Penny because she gets into so many adventures. I think Penny not only is relatable, but you learn something from Penny. What's, what's not to love? She's very bright. And she has so many interesting takes on different situations in life, and she has a lot of life experiences. She, you know, teaches you values. It's like you watch her and you feel like, well, that's me. You see yourself in her, mm -hmm. you know? Very it's Like, I relatable. can relate to that. Mm -hmm. She learns from her mistakes. Usually you don't get that kind of perspective from a cat. I do that. That adorable little voice. I like ham. And I think that's just a wonderful message and a wonderful way to learn. Can I be excused? Amy's creativity is so... She models confidence and, and good mental health. You get to be entertained and learn at the same time. Oh wow, that was super nice. Oh, so nice. Are you sure they weren't talking about someone else? They love me. They're my family. Yes, they do. Next. Who do you think is Penny's favorite in the family? Probably me. I think Yaya is Penny's favorite. Penny's favorite family member would be the hamster because he's ham and he looks like a mouse. I don't want to say. It's me. I, I'm sorry, but it's me. It's me. I'm the favorite. Yeah. Who is your favorite, Penny? I'm not gonna say. It's me. I'm not gonna say. Okay, well, I'm actually gonna have to cover your ears for this one, Penny. Why? It's a secret. What are you getting Penny for Christmas? We could get something different for Penny as opposed to ham, like maybe broccoli. Last year, she bought me these these kitty socks that I'm wearing. So I'm I bought her some socks with hams on them. A treadmill. I got her a subscription to the Ham of the Month Club. I can't top that. 
I know. Like a little kitty tre treadmill. As always, ham. What did I miss? I know what you're getting for Christmas. Tell me. Nope, and Lily, now it's your turn to cover your ears. Oh dear. What are you getting Lily for Christmas? Possibly some assorted meat pies. Some sushi. <laughs> it's not about the monetary thing with Lily or actually receiving a, a gift. Uh, I'm gonna give Lily my love and attention because that's what she wants the most. I think I'm gonna win on this one too. Yeah. I got her a prescription for catnip. I'm gonna give her the uh, latest Oxford English Dictionary so she can continue expanding that great vocabulary. She needs a little bit of a lift in her life. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're gonna love your gifts. I do love Christmas. Wow, I don't hear you saying you love something very often. I love Christmas. Me too. Okay, what's next? What is Penny's greatest talent? The greatest talent is opening her mouth. <laughs> Probably that she can talk. Dance. Uh, I would say her yodeling. She's always got something good to say to people. She's just so graceful. I think Penny's greatest talent is not only that she talks, but she has such an expansive vocabulary and so much, many life experiences that she is able to share with others. I mean, what other cat talks? I feel she's a very good listener. You know, she listens and she cares. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she gives us good examples and sometimes she gives us not so good examples of how to do things. So many talents, Benny. They forgot so many things though. Like what? I'm a great chef. You never cook. I'm no but I'm good at it. Okay. Do you think that Penny enjoys her fame? Oh, I can guarantee Penny enjoys her fame. Well, I'm not even sure if she realizes how famous she is. Yeah, I think she likes the attention. Does she even notice she's famous? I think she does enjoy it. She's always asking about her fans. Always asking me when I come over. Who talked to you recently at the library? Like I said before, I hope it doesn't go to her head. Well, honestly, uh, she shared with me she can't leave the house. Always wants to know what's going on. And of course, where's my latest piece of ham? It's, it's, it's tough. Yeah, she acted like she was famous before she was famous. The paparazzi, I mean, they follow her everywhere. I'm not sure she's enjoying it all that much. I just thought she was a homebody, but... No, I think that's what it is. Mm. So how do you feel about it? I'm famous? <sighs> yes, we've been over this. I was just Dawson. So do you enjoy it? I like making people happy. You do make a lot of people happy, Penny. Okay, I don't think we have too much more left. How disappointing. Do you have any ideas for future Penny videos? I think you guys should see Penny yodeling. I'd like to see her on some of her adventures. I would like to see Penny uh, e explore some of her creative talents, maybe try some, some poetry. People don't really know how much she she's into. I would really like to see her brother and her be reunited. <laughs> She doesn't just sit there like a lump and eat ham all day, does she? Mm. I don't know. And you guys can see an, another member of the extended family and somebody of her immediate family mm -hmm. become a part of this process. I'd like well, to see her bust a move on film. You okay, know, on well. She, she's very... Yeah, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes on mm -hmm. that one, but I've seen it. It's, it's magical. Her singing, too, you know. I think she could do maybe a Christmas album. I'd buy that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We love you, Penny. <laughs> Something tasty on your face before you came over? Just my natural yeah. manliness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh baby. He's a good boy. Perfect. Well, that was all the questions, guys. You guys are very demanding. What do you mean? I do those things for fun. I don't want do the video dumb. What about yodeling? Maybe. I'll take it. Okay, that was so much fun, wasn't it, guys? Unbelievably. It was pretty fun. Oh, hi, Betty. You missed it. I love my family. And I as well. Me too. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you. And please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to. And we will keep the videos coming.